Hey guys, it's Tia. Welcome to the video. Did you know that you can import your entire Etsy store into Shopify with just a few clicks? That's right, you don't have to start from scratch. In fact, you can even sync your inventory and SKUs and manage your Etsy store directly inside Shopify. And today I'll be explaining the benefits of doing this and showing you how step by step. I've structured this video like a checklist for the Etsy Shopify migration process, so make sure to watch till the end if you don't want to miss any important steps. Drop a like if you find this video helpful helpful, subscribe and turn on the notifications bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. And let's get started. Firstly, let's talk about why you need your own website if you're selling on Etsy. The main reason is that you don't want your business to be entirely dependent on an external platform that could suspend you, shadow ban you or impact your shop negatively in other ways. Etsy in particular is known for suspending people for the dumbest reasons, even established sellers. While it's a great source of free traffic, it would be a lot safer for your business to have an official home so customers know where to find you if something does happen to your Etsy shop. This also makes it easier to legally register your business and for marketing purposes. But if you've already set up on Etsy and are making sales on there for free, there's no need to close down your Etsy shop. Just set up a new shop and run them in parallel by driving your existing traffic, including Etsy customers, to the new shop instead of Etsy. I'll be talking about how to do this properly later on. Shopify is a leading e-commerce platform and it's suitable for people that don't know how to code, but it's also very scalable and appropriate for large businesses. I've tried a lot of online store builders and Shopify is still my number one choice because of their large range of apps, ease of use, integrations with many other platforms like Facebook, Instagram shopping and Pinterest. Most importantly, it has strong security and less bugs or technical glitches compared to other platforms. Everything about Shopify is completely optimized for commerce. You can sell physical or digital products and it's used by a lot of people so there's an abundance of educational resources and you can find a tutorial online for almost anything. On top of this, there are much lower fees, whereas Etsy fees can total 8 to 10% every transaction. So driving your existing traffic to a Shopify store will make you more profit. You can also take better control of your promotions, discounts and pricing. For example, you can make all your prices end in 0.00 or 99 on Shopify in any currency, even if you apply a discount, which looks a lot more professional, but it's not easy to do on Etsy. You can also collect an email and SMS list and engage directly with your customers. It removes distractions and competition from other sellers' listings so customers see your products only. In fact, you can actually cross-sell your own items using a cross-seller app, tempting customers to add more of your items to the cart and increase your average order value. There's a lot more features, but these are the ones I think are most important. Overall, you just have a lot more control over your shop than if you're selling on Etsy alone. To sign up for a 14-day free trial with Shopify, head over to shopify.com and click start free trial. Click on I'm already selling online or in person, then yes, I want to move an existing store to Shopify, select Etsy, then where you would like to sell an online store is fine for this option. This answer will depend on whether you're drop shipping or not. I will select no for this tutorial. Decide on a store name, select where it's located, then register for an account with your business email or Google account. Then you just wait for it to build your store. So this is your Shopify dashboard. You can follow the setup guide step by step, but in this video, I'll do things in the order I recommend, which I found gets the most important things out of the way first. The first thing you wanna do is set up your basic information, currency, payments, and shipping. Go to settings where you can find all these things. I'd recommend Shopify payments and PayPal, make sure those are set up, and then make sure to enter your shipping zones. You have to set these up in order to be able to sell on Shopify. Then you wanna go back to home and we can now start importing from Etsy. You can import your existing listings, customer details, order history and current orders using the import store app. So click on import store. Now go to your Etsy dashboard and go to settings, options and click on download data. First, you can download a CSV file for your listings by clicking here. Then you can do the same for your order items by selecting that as the CSV file, then choosing the date from which you want to download the data and now download. Then do the same for orders. Now go back to Shopify and in the upload file section, you want to find the CSV files and then drag and drop them directly into this section or alternatively, you can go in this section and then browse your files on the computer. 
Once you're done uploading these three files, you'll find that all your products along with the images, descriptions, titles, and tags will appear under the product section and you can find your existing customers, orders, and analytics too. Click continue import and it might take a while to finish, but it will let you know when the import for each section is complete. From here on, if you just want to sell separately on Shopify and Etsy, then that's all set up for you. But if you want to connect your Shopify to your Etsy store, meaning that when you upload products to Shopify, they will also automatically get uploaded to Etsy along with their images, titles and descriptions. So you only have to upload listings once. And this is a massive time saver. And you can also monitor your Etsy sales in Shopify. I'd say this is only worth it if you're uploading a lot of products and the time saved is worth the cost. Otherwise, you might as well upload the listing separately. The app I used is called Etsy Integration and Sync. It has a seven day free trial and it's $19.99 a month. So you'll have to pay this on top of your Shopify subscription. You don't need a debit or credit card to have a free trial. So maybe try it out and see if you think the convenience is worth paying for. I'm not being paid to promote this tool or Shopify itself, by the way, it's just the one that I'm more familiar with. I believe there are other apps for Etsy integration, so you can have a look at those, but this is the one that I've used before, so I know that it does work. You can connect your shop, add products using the app to your Shopify and Etsy store directly with the click of a button and manage orders for Etsy and Shopify. Now select a plan to launch your store. They have a really nice deal right now, three months for less than a dollar each, so I would highly suggest you take advantage of this while you can. They won't charge you until after the 14 day free trial and you can cancel at any time before that. The basic plan is fine for most people. You can pick the more expensive options if you're a high volume store because you'll get credit card rate discounts. I would recommend starting out with a monthly plan at first and switch to yearly if you're happy with Shopify so you can save some money. Then go to online store, preferences, remove password and uncheck the enable password box, which you can do once you select a plan and this unlocks your store. Then go to settings and you can buy a domain from Shopify or connect an existing domain that you own. Make sure you fill out the rest of the details in the preferences section and connect Google Analytics and a Facebook pixel if you have set up Facebook Business Manager for your store. Use a business email and phone number, not your personal details, because these are publicly visible on receipts when you make sales, and it makes you vulnerable to hacking and getting random calls from angry customers in the middle of the night. Make sure to set up pages. So you need a privacy policy, terms and conditions, shipping policy, about, and contact pages at minimum for legal purposes. Shopify has templates for these, so you don't have to write them from scratch. Create a navigation system of menus based on your tags and product categories so customers can find the products they need easily. Remember to remove that ugly powered by Shopify text at the bottom of whichever theme you choose by going to themes, edit code, then find footer.liquid. Then you can do command or control F to text search and then search for the word powered. Then you can delete this entire line of code and now it's gone. You want to get a business email if you don't have one already. You can get one from Google Workspace using your Shopify domain. There's a guide on the Shopify website on how to do this. Click the eye to view your online store and you can customize its appearance by changing colors and themes. It's easy to waste a lot of time getting caught up in how your shop looks. So I'd strongly recommend doing this step last after getting the important processes out of the way, which we've already done. Shopify offers a lot of free and paid themes. Free themes are fine to start off with and can be just as high converting as paid ones. Down the line, you may want to reinvest in a paid theme to give your shop a more unique look, but don't get the idea that the theme is gonna make or break your sales. At the end of the day, the offer is what will get your customers to buy or not buy. Make sure to edit your titles and tags after you import as well, because on your own site, you want shorter titles that make sense to customers and cater to Google SEO instead of the long keyword stuff titles that usually get more traffic on Etsy, which you'll probably be most likely using if you've imported from Etsy. Now you've got your own store set up, it's time to start driving traffic. Remember, Shopify isn't like Etsy or Amazon where you're provided traffic by a marketplace and Google shopping ads that the company pays for on your behalf. You have to drive 
drive your own customers. Eventually you can get traffic from Google if you do your SEO right and start getting more sales and backlinks, but this does take a long time. It's much, much harder to rank on Google than Etsy because there are so many more websites than Etsy listings and these two are very different search engines. You shouldn't expect your site to rank on Google realistically to the point of getting organic sales until you significantly increase your brand awareness. To drive your existing traffic to Shopify, you can add your shop domain name to your social media platforms if you're promoting there. Obviously any paid traffic to your Shopify store as well. You can put your shop domain in your Etsy banner and thank you messages to your customers. But be careful not to promote your shop by saying things like buy this on my store instead or get this cheaper on my store because that can be considered fee avoidance and Etsy does not like that. Make sure customers know the domain your shop calls home and they can go there if they wish. Having products slightly cheaper or more heavily discounted on your store will be an incentive for customers to buy and return there instead of on Etsy and you can do this because remember Shopify takes less fees. That's it for today. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.